Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Main. Okay, so what's been happening here? Well, not a whole heck of a lot. I've been very busy, and as you can tell on my channel, I've been doing a lot of Seven Days to Die. But today, I feel like it's time to do some Star Main. So I'm going to have you all come along for the ride. Basically, in this episode, I'm going to set up some more production facilities here you're going to kind of watch me do that how i do that and yeah and so why are we going to be doing that well i will show you so let's kind of move our character over this way the gravity when you come into the game is kind of weird it's usually like you're in a zero g environment always i don't know i don't like the gravity in star Maid. it just doesn't work right so here with my installed stuff here I was kind of looking into kind of how to make advanced blocks because we need to make advanced black and red blocks so I was kind of looking into here just to see what I needed for black advanced armor and this is kind of what we need we need the black so we need black advanced armor to make that we need black standard armor and we need, and we need advanced hardener but to make advanced hardener, we need ferritin ingots and alloy metal meshes. This is not a problem, but this is a problem because this we need to you, pre, you create basically. <laughs> then we also need to make standard hardener, which then is made out of you know ferritin capsules and alloy metal mesh, which is not a big deal. So yeah. And then black hull needs black paint, which means we need the tech capsules. So we need to go on a harvesting run. So basically, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on the search for some resources. Now, I'm also wondering, what do I need to make, oh, was it red advanced armor? Here we go. Probably be very, very, very similar. See, still more fair to keen. So we need just lots of fair to keen. And red paint, we need cinnabar. So do we have very much of that stuff? Let's take a quick peek here into this. Cinnabar, let's kind of see if we can find it. Cinnabar, no, it looks like we don't have any. So we need to go on a major harvesting run with our ship. Maybe if we find some pirates, we'll be able to shoot them out of the sky. It looks like the new version of Starmaid here records nicely. I haven't noticed any kind of flickering because I use OBS to record with. And I kind of watch in the display there. It seems to me that everything's moving a lot smoother as well. The game is moving very, very nicely. Now, the server, the Star Squadron server here did update. So we'll see if this still functions. This is usually the test. Sometimes, ah, I don't know how I got turned around there. Gravity seems different. Press up to deactivate. I don't know. Okay, now let's... Did I not activate it? Okay, oh yes, everything's working. Woohoo! Okay, folks, I'll meet you up top. Okay, here we are coming up to the top. Let's decouple. See, we're in zero G. <laughs> now we're in G. Just crazy. So we need to build that turret on the top of this. We just built that kind of idea, that initial idea, but we still need to finalize that idea. This was our storage. So basically what will happen here is this will pull from the ship. Oh, my ship. It's been so long. Will we remember how to fly it? Now, the reason we need to update the ship is I need to build another kind of the engine cell on each side of the current engines because it's just not enough it's not enough because this ship's going to be heavy very heavy as you can tell i have the warp uh oh yeah <laughs> the warp drive is nice and exposed because i've been doing some modifications and extension an extension of the ship okay wow let's get to using the ship sit down here Oh, I missed this baby. All my readouts, everything is checked. Excellent. Let's enter the ship core here. Now we are in build mode. How do we get out of build mode? Uh, okay, perfect. I am back. It's the Z key, actually. So, let us... 
decouple and we should be able to just go straight up yeah it looks like we can we're not too heavy uh, let's see let's see are we in orbit wait till the speed there kind of stops come on oh there we go now we're in orbit let's kind of swing this baby around let's zoom out okay cool so i was doing a little bit of work i need to extend i think the thrusters a little bit more maybe maybe not maybe i'm at the good length or maybe a, f a few more a couple more okay so let's go map where are we gonna go now okay let's kind of take a look at what's happening in the galaxy here nothing special okay good so still being left alone up here which is good <laughs> Okay, so where are we going to go? Well, we need to find some more resources, right? So I think there's more resources up here. Oh, no, there isn't. In here there's resources. And in here beside us there's resources. So let's go. Let's see how close we can get to before burning up. So let's fly over to the shop here. And then... We'll go from there. We'll see what kind of stuff is around in this yellow ring here and go from there. So let's see here. If we go into our jump drive, jump drive is ready. Gonna speed up here. We're going to warp. Bang oh bang. Okay, perfect. Let's charge it. Okay, where oh where is the station? Okay, is that it right there? Cool, cool. See, ah, it's almost better to be in this person mode because the where the lines come from. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, holy crap! This is why I need more thrusters because it's just. Oh, there we go. Okay. So what's inside this planet? Fertikine. Perfect. We're going to harvest that one just after we sell here. Need to charge the jump drive. Let's slow right down. Okay, perfect. Let's go b b into our buy menu. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay. We've got lots of money. We need to sell. So we need to sell this stuff. Carve the Laramar. Drop the sell. Sell it all, baby. Carve Shabazz. Might as well sell that. Carve Dolom. We don't need that. What else do we have to sell? I don't think we have anything else to sell. That's it. Okay, excellent. Excellent. What's this? Marker beam. Oh, cool. They changed the look of them. Okay. So now let's go harvest this rock. This is where we switch to the front, the, the front camera. Okay. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I don't want to hit you. Okay. Now, I'm basically going to harvest the crap out of this thing. And I'm just going to rip right through it and just completely mangle this. Look at that. Raw. Just like this. So, I will be doing this. I won't, uh, yeah, I won't let you watch all this because you know this is what's going to happen. Nothing really special, just me right-clicking and just using all my beams to to target. I find it sometimes it's easier to just, like, direct it you completely. But, yeah, this is kind of cool, hey? So, yeah, I will meet you on the other end of this asteroid. Okay, look at this. We are almost done here. As soon as the rock disappears, I think that's it. Vera Zirkanir. What's up? There's some rocks up here somewhere. What's this one? Fertikine, Jisper. Well, we need the Fertikine, so let's go over to this cluster of rocks. Yeah, no, we'll just kind of fly over to these on the radar. And how far away are they? 10,000? That's not too shabby. Let's increase our speed to the maximum. Full warp drive, sir. Ooh, we're coming up really close. It's going to take enough time to slow down, actually. So this is why I need more thrusters. I find the forward thrust momentum isn't 
quite there yet. And basically, this is all we're going to be doing this whole episode, I think, is I want to set up that stuff, but that might have to happen in the next episode, because, yeah, I need I need resources. I need that tech, right? Otherwise, the whole thing is useless. We need the ferritikine. We need a whole lot of this stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to have to Jisper, Matisse and Jisper. We might just leave that like that. Sintir, Therens... Yeah, Bastion, Fertikeen. Bastion, Fertikeen. So we're going to have to take out these bl these two here, at least. Okay, cool. So I will proceed to do that. Okay, so we completed those two rocks. Now I'm heading off towards this station because it's kind of in the yellow zone. We're going to head off to those ones next. Then kind of up into these undiscovered stations here, because we need to see what's in that part of space. I'm also going to be scanning for any kind of rocks. Planets. That's a planet we're going by. Okay, that's kind of cool. I need to charge up the drive. Let's do it. Let's just jump. And let's recharge our ship. Slow down our ship. Cynthia Threns. Nox Masset. Wow. Okay. Where's the station? There's the shop. Okay. Some rocks here that we. Oh, we're running out of power. It's not quite the rocks that I'm looking for. Let's go jump up to these ones I guess I don't think we'll find it uh, I don't think we'll find any tech there we, we, we might have to go and then like this plot path to current and then okay no or is it down over here where are we there it is that's that's the waypoint. So I need to charge up the drive. And once the drive gets charged up, we're going to warp over there. And so yeah, I shall see you with the warp procedure. Okay, here we are in this other sector. And there's actually a bunch of stuff to harvest here. So we're probably going to take our chances and we're going to do some harvesting here. So let's charge up our warp drive just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be doing a bunch of harvesting here. So <laughs> I tell you what, I will spare you the details and I will carry on doing that here right now. Ooh, slow down, slow down. Ooh. This is the one I want. Uh, come on. There we go. The Newtonian physics is kind of interesting, but I definitely need more thrusters, more power generation, all that kind of fun razzmatazz. So I'll see you on the other side of these asteroids. Okay, so there we go. We're done with that asteroid field. As you can tell, we are flying away from it. I need to find some of that tech stuff. So <clears throat> if we turn our ship around here, Where's that waypoint right here? 75 kilometers. Let's warp. Let's recharge. Our radar jammer is on, so if it is a bad, oh, it's a bad station. It's a bad station. Let's take a quick peek at that. Oh, power failure. We don't want that. We don't want that. Look at that space. Cool. Let's. Recharge this. Um, Rich Vera Zirkanir. Pirate Station Alpha. Okay, that's fine. No problemo. So is there any resources out here? No? Okay, so... I thought we discovered that station, but that's okay. Let's keep going in this direction. How if we go like this? Let me plot right there. Kind of like that. 
charger or thingy. I'm gonna go on to this waypoint and see what's there. Oh, we should turn our jammer on. We shouldn't let us ourselves ever really run out of power, so yeah, we're gonna have to kinda watch that. I need more power generation. That's ultimately, and so I need to make those engine cells kind of generate power, so we're gonna have to create kind of like two grids overlapping each other. And that's part of the reason why we need the blocks. So yeah, this is all interconnected. It's just, it's taking a lot longer than I expected. Then with life, you know, things have gotten kind of a little bit challenging and difficult. And so, yeah, so here we go. Onto our waypoints, system is neutral. Let's slow the frick down. I'm not sure what's going on here. To recharge a bit, of course, always after, because you're the radar jammer, I'm recharging the jump drive, and then the thrusters, they take a ton of power. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, there's some rocks. Uh, Sintir, Vera, Zirkanir. Oh, that sucks. Slow down here a bit. Okay, slow down a little bit more. Jump drive is fully charged. Let's go look at our map. Okay. How about we carry on forward this way? And down. So let's plot path to that. Yeah, let's go that way. And I'm just going to fly over there that way. And so I will meet you over there. Okay, here we are. So, I'm going to go down here because there's the rings here. Hopefully we'll find some tech along the way. It's been dismal, man. Dismal. Haven't found anything yet. So I'm just going to fly along. I'm not even going to warp because I think when you warp, you miss out on some stuff. So... I need to spot the rocks if there are any, and so yeah, so I will meet you down there, either at the waypoint or yeah. So this is probably what will happen if if I make it all the way down to the waypoint, I will come back, and I guess that will be the end of the episode, and we'll continue this on in the next one. Hopefully, I'll play a little bit and try and find some tech, and yeah, and then we'll go from there. And yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. You know, I apologize for not bringing out more Star Made videos out, but it's just been really rough. It's been really challenging to try and play this game. You know, my main focus is Seven Days to Die, and you know, as much as I appreciate the opportunity to make the Star Made videos, I've just been extremely busy in real life. Can't dedicate the time, but. Hey, I'm trying. I'm making this video here, and I'll have this uploaded shortly here. So, yeah. So, thank you. Thanks for your eyeballs. And, yeah. Oh, look at that. See? So, rocks just pop up, and then we can kind of do... I just kind of scan, and I hope to find... Ah, oh, we ran out of power again. Frick sakes. Where's the other set of rocks? Okay, anyways, I'm going to carry on to the waypoint. Oh, the ship. We need more thrusters. There we go. See, now the power is doing okay. I just don't understand that. It fluctuates. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, we'll carry on here. Okay, yeah. Look, I found some more rocks here. So, we're going to do some harvesting of the ferritakine here. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to call it an episode here. So my journey for tech still continues, and yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. I apologize if it wasn't as good as it should be, but yeah, this is what needs to happen, we need to do some harvesting. It's about that time again to collect some materials, so that way we can kind of build some stuff. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, thank you for your eyeballs, and thank you for your time. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.